Tank, uh, a lot of talk about Ryan and, and how he leaves his chin up. Is that going to cost him in this fight with you? Yeah, he definitely leaves his chin up. Errol sure. uh, Spence and Terrence Crawford said they didn't get guaranteed money for their fight. Did you and Ryan get guaranteed money for your fight? I'm fighting, man. Hmm. Hey, hey, Tank. I'm sorry, I'm with Dish Network. Could you just look into this camera and tell the folks at Dish what to expect in the fight on Super 22? Uh, it's close to fight. It's close to fight from both sides. Definitely. So Javante, uh, the explosiveness is what's selling this fight, but it's what's going to win this fight for you, the stuff that doesn't sell pay-per-views, feints, defense, things like that. You know, you know, yeah, for sure. Because is that what you were getting at when you said he's not a complete fighter? Yeah, he's not. He's not. Everybody that watch boxing knows he's not a complete fighter. So to Javante, piggyback on that, who would you say? Confidence level. Do you feel that you can knock him out any particular round? I can't say it right now, but um, I, I believe so. Who would, you, who would you say have more power and speed between you and Ryan? If you was unbiased, I mean, you're gonna be biased to yourself. That's natural. But. More speed and power? Yeah. For sure, I'm gonna say me. <laughs> Tank, is him do, you see, to do you see yourself as a legacy fight after this? Well, this is one of your, this fight a legacy fight that's gonna elevate you to the next level. Yeah, I, I think so for sure. And, yeah. and this just, just what like type of fight it is. It's not just like a regular fight. This really is a mega fight. Right. And we are fighting at a young age. So, so you you're not sleeping on him, correct? Because no. a lot of people are calling him a social media fighter no, and I'm saying not, he's no. not that fighter. Yeah. You see what he really is, correct? Yeah, yeah I'm not sleeping. You know, Javante. You know, uh, I'm sure you believe you could knock him out in any way. So with that said, why why the rehydration clause? Is it the art of war? You know. Why, why, why. I mean, that's what happened when you were A-side. Then it should have came in at 126. <laughs> Is that taking advantage of his anxiousness to get that, that money in that big fight? No, I just... If you, if you, that'd be smart. You can't just be a fighter, bro. That's what... That's what they want you to do. They want you to just... Uh, take the fight at 150 and take the fight at 160 and this guy walking around at 170, 180. That don't make sense. Does that, if you, if you, you said they always Ryan got something to say, does that give them something to say yeah, though? for sure. But does that give them something to say, the rehab yeah. where they wouldn't? Know? Yeah. I mean, what, the people? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If, you, if you beat Ryan, where would you place yourself on the pound for pound list? I don't really pay attention to the pound for pound. It's, it's just opinion. I really don't, I don't, I don't pay attention to that. What would you say? Another question from Dish? Absolutely. So you have so many celebrity fans, Tank. Uh, have you ever been starstruck by any of your fans? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Who are you looking forward to seeing in the front row? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. What were you saying to uh, Bernard yesterday in New York City? I was just telling him that he know that this, this guy not not like that. He know that. He know that. What would you say to people that say boxing's dead? It's not. I don't think boxing did. It's just a lot of clowns that's, that's entering boxing. <laughs> that's it. Boxing is not dead. We got so much. I mean, uh, we got Benavidez and um, Plant coming up. There's a lot of great fights coming up. Boxing definitely ain't dead. We got um, Fulton and um, what's, what's the new way? New way. There's a lot of fights coming up. Boxing definitely ain't dead.